good guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be answering some frequently asked questions that I have been getting on my hair growth oil video so if you're interested in finding out what are those frequently asked questions then please continue to watch okay so it has been over a year since I have actually um, uploaded that video and that is one of my most um, popular videos on my channel. Now, I have always wanted to do a frequently asked questions video, but I just never got around to it. But now that I am currently going through postpartum hair loss and I am on another hair growth journey, I thought why not just do this video right now as that kind of ties in with something that I'm actually going through right now. So let's get right into those questions. Okay, so one of the most frequently asked questions I often get on my content regarding the hair growth oil is how soon can you start using the oil mixture? Now, I know a lot of people have seen a lot of other videos out there regarding the hair growth oil, this same particular hair growth oil. Now, when I was doing my research way back in the days, you know, the person that I saw that introduced this to me was Curly Proverbs. Now, <laughs> let me address this one as well on camera for all of those people that was in my comment section asking me why I didn't give the girl a shout out. I did. Okay. Now, if you went into my description, you would have seen that I've give, given the girl her credit because she is who I saw it from first. And also, since y'all want to be all up in my business, I also went to her channel, commented on her page, telling her I did the same exact oil and I'm going to use it and I was going to feature it on my channel and I was going to come back and let her know the progress. And I also did that. Okay, so pump your brakes. The girl got her credit. I even went straight to her page and told her that I was going to do this very oil on my channel also. So I hope you guys feel good about that now that I have finally addressed it to everybody so everybody can see. Okay, anyway, now back to what I was saying. So like I said, I've seen many other people do this particular oil and also another girl that I saw um, doing it but she did a whole bunch of other things mixed in and I also looked at a lot of other um, traditional um, ways of doing it from Indian ladies okay so I got my I did a very intensive research in regard to this oil and um, with this a lot of them the ones that I've been watching because bear in mind it's not only curly proverbs I saw did this I did a lot of other research and you can actually use this oil the next day and that's how I actually use it I let it cool and then I use it the following day so the answer to that question is you can actually use this oil mixture as soon as it's cooled down and you can just apply it to your head so the next frequently asked question I often get is how long can you store the oil for and how often can you use the mixture? Now, a lot of people say <laughs> that, um, you know, from when they watch other people's videos, it's saying that um, you should store it for about four weeks. Now, I don't necessarily agree with that because, you know, um, some people have the idea that the oil will go off. Now, if we really sit and think about it, oils don't necessarily go off because i mean if you was to go to the store and you see like a bottle of olive oil or any variation of oils sitting there it doesn't say use within four weeks like oils you can keep using it you know it it, it lasts it has a long shelf life now i know some people may say oh because you're mixing powders in there etc it could go off not necessarily the only time things can go off it i think they say it's when you have water mixed into it and obviously these oils don't have any water mixed into it so the longevity of this oil like i keep my oils up until i finish using them sometimes i end up using them within a month using it completely within a month or sometimes it's last even longer and the second part of that question as to how often should you use this mixture you can use it um, every day if you like or twice a day three times a day you can skip days etc it's totally up to you on how you want to use it when I first started using this oil I was using it I think 
was every other day so I'll use it say for example I use it today I'll miss a day and then I'll use it again but then as time went on I spaced out the amount of times that I actually use the oil so it's totally up to you how often you would like to use the oil okay moving on to the next question and um, the next frequently asked question I get is can you use fenugreek powder or fenugreek leaves instead of the fenugreek seeds and yes you can actually use either the powder or the leaves um, instead of the seeds and like I says I have done a lot of research online and I've seen um, mixtures where ladies are using the leaves as well as the powder now for me personally I do not like the way how the fenugreek powder mix with the oils because I've tried it before and it was very very clumpy didn't like it at all so I don't necessarily use the powder but I have seen other people use the powder in the form of like when they're making a mask a hair mask now I haven't actually tried making a hair mask with the fenugreek powder but the way how it curdled or lumped up in the oil I think using it as a hair mask would be the best option now like I mentioned I've seen ladies use the fenugreek um uh, look get my words right <laughs> use the fenugreek um tree leaves what am i saying <laughs> they use the leaves to um make the oil so if i can find that video i'll definitely link it right here for you to go and check out but yes you can actually use the powder instead or the leaves you don't necessarily have to use the fenugreek seeds so moving on to the next question we have can this oil be used on caucasian hair yes this oil can be used on anybody's hair type scalp type etc because you have to remember that this is going into the scalp it's not necessarily the hair like the hair strand like a scalp is a scalp you know your body is your body and these oils have a lot of benefits so it's going into your skin you know so obviously your scalp is your skin so it's going into your body and it's going to do what it's supposed to do it's going to get into the follicles through the pores where your hair strand comes through and then get in there and do what it got to do so to answer that question yes this oil can be used on caucasian hair as well as you know anybody else of any other um, ethnic group okay another frequently asked question i often get regarding this oil is can I use these oils on my facial hair beard okay or mustache and the answer is yes I use this oil on my husband's beard as well and it does wonders so you know it's just like it's just oils if you think about just putting oils on your body on your skin you know it's just like the same when it comes to your facial hair or your scalp well facial hair your face you know so yeah it can be used on your facial hair or Caucasian hair or etc okay so moving on to the next frequently asked question we have here and that is why do you put the oil on the fire won't it lose all the nutrients the answer to that question is no it won't lose its nutrients and the reason why I put it on the fire is like I've said before I did a lot of research in regards to how to prepare this now when you put it on the fire you are getting the the nutrients to infuse from the powders into the oil and like I says when I did a lot of research and watched the Indian ladies prepare it and many other people on YouTube prepare it they do heat it and let the oil start to bubble and boil and all of that so try and understand that you can prepare it in a way like you know by through adding the heat without it losing any of the nutrients it's just infusing all the nutrients into the oil okay so the next frequently asked question i often get on my channel is where do you buy these ingredients and can you give us some links <laughs> now i purchase my ingredients obviously from a multitude of places i do often buy the powders from ebay so what i'll do i'll certainly go ahead and leave some links in the description bar below if you would like to purchase the powders but in regards to the oils i'm pretty sure you guys can get it from your local supermarket or corner shop so yeah you can get your olive oil your um, coconut oil and your castor oil and all those different oils from your local beauty store as well or the supermarket or the corner store but in regards to the powders I often get mine from online 
but you can also get some of these powders in your local beauty store because I did get like my henna and amla shikai kai and all of those from my beauty store um I think I got the amla powder and the MSM powder from online I know I definitely got the MSM powder online but um the amla I believe I got that um, online so like I said I'll definitely leave some links in the description bar below so make sure you go and check it out so the next question I have here is can I leave this oil in my hair or do I have to wash it out no you can use this oil as a hot oil treatment if you like and wash it out straight away or you can you know leave it in on your scalp and that's exactly how I use it sometimes I use it as a hot oil treatment but if I use it as a hot oil treatment I also then once I finish washing my hair and everything I will you know use the oils to grease my scalp up so yeah you can actually use it both ways it's completely up to you how you choose to use it so moving on to the next frequently asked question regarding the hair growth oil is where can we purchase this oil now I know this oil used to be available online for sale but I believe it has been discontinued however I now sell them myself or sell it myself so if you're interested in purchasing this oil definitely get in touch with me by get, um, sending me an email which my email address will be in the description bar below so if you're interested in purchasing this oil hit me up and then we can have that discussion on how we can get the oil out to yourself okay another frequently asked question um, I often get is what is MSM powder and what is it used for now um, I did a video in my hair growth pharmacy um, series um, where I explain to you all what MSM powder is and what it is used for now if you would like to know more details about MSM powder and what it's used for definitely go ahead and check the link out right here so you could learn a little bit more about MSM powder so moving on to the next question which I think is a really good question and that question is how do you dissolve the MSM powder since it's water soluble and is it okay for it not to dissolve now when I got this question I was really happy that someone asked that because you know I found that after using or making this oil multiple times you know I thought that question came to mind I was like if this is water soluble and these are oils how is the MSM powder going to dissolve in oil so I've stopped putting it in my oil mixture and now what I do is I get my spray bottle put some water in it and then I'll sprinkle in some MSM powder and then I will spray my hair and then I will then you know oil my scalp you know obviously not only my hair but my scalp also and then I'll do my moisturizing routine because MSM powder it's not going to dissolve in oil because it's not like water if you see what I'm saying so I do not know I no longer put um, the MSM powder in my oil mixture because I don't think it dissolves but if anybody else know that to be different Definitely go ahead and hit us up in the comments below and let us know whether it dissolves or not because I truly don't know if powder would dissolve in oil because even when I put the other powders like the henna and the amla powder in there that don't necessarily dissolve so I am assuming the Emerson powder don't dissolve as well but like I said if anybody know different go ahead and educate me in the comments below and um, the other part of the question was is it okay if it doesn't dissolve like I'm not sure but I would say don't um, put the MSM powder in there because clearly it's water soluble and oil is not water so I am not 100% sure how that would work and the next frequently asked question I have here on my hair growth oil content is what does henna and amla powder do for the hair again I did cover this in my hair growth pharmacy um, segment so what I will do is leave a link right here for you to go and check out those videos so you can be a little bit more in the know of how henna and amla powder benefit our hair and the final question I'm going to be answering today is 
does this oil really work and i would love to see some before and after pictures and let me tell you let me i'm gonna answer that question but i remember there was a skeptic all up in the comments like what the heck did they say i wish i had written down that um statement it wasn't a question but they were like oh all these people out here acting like this work i would like to see a better review i'd like to see a review that actually works like whatever like this person was straight up hating and i was like okay have you even looked through any of my videos where i show my progress come on now don't be a hater okay don't be a hater but to answer the question which is does the oil really work what i'll do is leave some video links right here for you to go and check out so you can see the results i had with this oil okay and um you will definitely get your answer in regards to that and it says what was the other part of the question um i would like to see some before and after pictures again definitely check out the link right here where you will see my before and after photos but to answer the question in regards to whether the oil work i don't know you tell me <laughs> and also as i'm currently on another hair growth journey go ahead and check this link out right here so you can see alternative ways on how you can grow your hair back if you're not able to access this hair growth oil okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did then please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed so until next week sunday at 5 p.m we will be right back here with another video